Um, we have a speaker now who um, who's going to be coming up, uh, a young man, a learned colleague of mine, oh, my learned junior, let me just obviously maybe a bit, um, who has been a huge force uh, uh, since uh, the the uh, protest, protest start, started. And I think um, he was one of those who pushed a lot of Nigerians because, you know, when what happened in Ogeli in Delta State happened, there were talks about, oh, we're going to protest, there were people who said maybe we shouldn't just listen to comments. And I know that he, and I'm, I think Ron Sound said, quotes was very, very uh, poignant for me. Thursday is Thursday. And the Thursday after the shooting, after the incident happened in Ogeli, I beg your pardon, they came out. And I think that sort of spoiled a lot of people um, to to do what they have done in the last couple of weeks. Um, he's many things, so many things. He's a lawyer, he's a rapper, he's an activist. Uh, he's someone who's very, very passionate about Nigeria. If you know anything about him and his family, you know that they've been in this battle for a very, very long time. And um, he's going to be delivering our keynote address today. So please welcome Paul Polaring Palano. What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Fola and Falano, aka Files the Bad Guy. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, I'm a entertainer by profession. First of all, I think it's important to sort of commend everyone um, on, on, on an amazing job. I think, uh, you know, what we've just seen, what we've just witnessed is nothing short of history. You know, um, we've basically just rewritten history. We've um, We've, we've, we've changed the way things operate on this side of the world. And I dare say things will never, ever be the same again. I promise you, things will never be the same in Nigeria again. Um, at the beginning, I mean, for me personally, on the 8th of October, the day that I decided to go out there and, you know, do the first ever walk, um, big shout out to Runtown. Um, he had, I think he had put out a tweet like a few days before. Um, and then I saw that, and this was, you know, um, what I saw as, uh, the avenue to come out and really protest about something that was affecting pretty much everyone. Um, you know, I think almost every young person has a story with SARS and the police in general, and it was about time. So we went out, you know, we thought maybe 50 people will come out, maybe hundred people will come out, you know. But, I mean, but getting there, my dear, there were thousands of people behind us. And I think that was when I realized that we're onto something. You know, I didn't even know how big this movement was eventually going to become. I didn't, I had no idea what we had started. But um, at that point in time, I realized it was something bigger than, bigger than us. After that day, um, every single day was a new city. Every single day a new set of people, a new group of people that we didn't have to ginger to come out. And then these protests kept on going and going. And what I really, really realized was that there was a sense of unity. There was a sense of oneness that we built during these protests. And that is priceless in my life, in my entire 30. I just turned 30. In my 30 years of existence, I have never seen in Nigeria as united as what, what the youth were during those protests. After all that happened, you know, after all the, uh, the protests and everything, I think the question on most people's mouths now is, what next? Um, for me personally, I think it's, I think it's, it's work in progress. What we've started is by it has by no means ended in terms of what we have to do now where majority of the work lies i would say is in citizen education so just educating people and letting people know that um this is what the law is these are your rights you know this is what the constitution says and you know this is the procedure for this this is the process for this i think a lot of people and that's one thing i realized during this period because i was doing a lot of these videos where i'll just come and say oh you know there's this law that is in existence and did you know this did you know that and a lot of people from the feedback i got a lot of people didn't know majority of these things and um where i've decided to commit my resources and my efforts is into making this into a full-fledged show. So basically, 
Um, I'm going to make it into a proper show where I break down the law. I break down um, maybe parts of the constitution that I think are very important for people to know in the most basic form. So anybody that doesn't know anything about law or, you know, um, or about legal procedure will just know that, oh, wow, these are my rights. This is what I'm entitled to. Oh, okay. Another group of people that I think really need um, that education is, I would say, the grassroots. I'm looking at this, this entire period and everything that went on and the word hoodlum and thugs, you know, those words were thrown around a lot. But who really is a hoodlum? A hoodlum is a young man ju just like yourself, just like myself. But what makes them a hoodlum is the fact that they probably don't know better or they probably don't have the resources to exist and, you know, flourish without doing that thing that they're doing that makes them a hoodlum. So, so a hoodlum wasn't born a hoodlum or isn't destined to be. It's just because of where they found themselves. So th I think this set of people need a lot more education. Let's like just letting them know that, come, you know, suppose they run this kind of PUA, they run, like sort of letting them know, awakening their consciousness. So for them, it's more, it's more of a realization of, you know, what they have been doing wrong and how they can sort of improve on that. Um, also, I think it's very important um, as we're approaching 2023, before we even get there from now to start getting ready, you know, because 2023 is going to be a big year. It's going to be a big, decisive year for us, you know, for our future. Um, so it's important now to start getting our PVCs. They should, start, they should start registration. I don't know what it takes. I don't know what the procedure is normally, but I know, you know, um, from practice, they usually start closer to the time. I don't think the law requires that they start late, but just, <laughs> it's them. Um, but there's... There's a lot that we still need to attack. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people don't even know, um, for instance, the procedure for recalling a, a member of the House of Rep or a, or a senator. Um, you know, it's th these are things that we're entitled to do as, a, as, as somebody that is a registered voter in a certain cons constituency, you have the right to recall a member of the House of Rep. So if somebody did the idea, they mess up, we can't just ginger and tell ourselves, guys, this guy, they mess up. Maybe we come out and for the you know. And at the end of the day, we've seen that the, the, the power, I saw this, I'm looking for this very strong quote, the power of the people is greater than the people in power. Yeah, thank you very much. That was it. That was it, yeah. <laughs> so um, I think if there's anything that we've realized in this past few, these past few weeks is, is that, um, so we just need to be, you know, a lot more together, just work closely with each other and just, you know, realize that when we're together, it's, it's more effective, you know, all these religious sentiments, all these tribal sentiments that they've tried to bring in, we need to throw everything away, you know, I mean, I, I've never, like I said, I didn't think it was within us anyway, I didn't think any of us took that, took all those sentiments serious, it was all tactics from from these people trying to um, trying to set us apart and trying to divide us, but um, like I was saying earlier on, the, the 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 sense of unity that I saw during this period was mad. Um, so we just need to sort of keep that up, keep that energy going. Don't stop. Um, stay alert. Stay awake. Register now. And we need more intelligent people, please. I think we have seen we have seen in these past few days the caliber of people that we have in government. We have people that are very shallow. We have people that don't know what they're doing there. We have people that only plan to go there to steal money. So somebody can be commissioner or minister of works and they know nothing about those works that they're meant to be doing. So I think we've you know we've really seen that we need people that are more enlightened, people that are that are more exposed to be in government and, you know, young people like us. So they truly, um, you know, connect with, 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 the, with the youth population and they know what they're supposed to be doing. And people that understand what it means to be in public office, you know, not just people that think that they're there to be worshipped, people that know that they're there to serve us and not the other way around, you know, um, 
so uh, yeah man that's what that's what i'll just say i want to just keep it short so let me know <laughs> let me know continue to ramble um but thank you very much for having me um i appreciate i love you guys god bless nigeria peace out very much Files, for that um and if nothing else we have to give you credit first of all at least for the energy you keep coming with um a lot of people have observed and rightly so that you have been um, advocating for just, I mean, NSAS is very important, is the focal point, but you have, you know, brought in the conversation uh, beyond just NSAS. I'm talking about, you know, Nigerians knowing better and knowing uh, their rights, knowing their constitution, knowing what to look for in governance and knowing who to hold responsible for these things. And it's very important, it's coming from someone from the generation that is um, agitating for all of these things. So thank you very much for all of that. And uh, keep the fire burning. We're looking forward to more, more of this from you. And we hope that there are young Nigerians who are listening, and Nigerians in general who are listening, are paying attention. They're not just listening. They're